You know, the market has never been more hungry for new engine technology with uh, engine back orders and price increases like we've never seen before. The industry is wide open for uh, new engine makers and Delta Hawk's been working hard on their engine. They're here at Sun and Fun 2024 with some news and uh, Chris Rude's going to tell us about it. Hello, I'm Christopher Rude, CEO of Delta Hawk Engines. Today we are at Sun and Fun on the first day and uh, we have a lot of announcements this time. Uh, we're announcing an expansion of our FAA certified 180 horsepower to increase the horsepower to both 200 and 235. This allows us to get into a lot of the flight schools, the 200 and the 235 to compete with against a lot of the newer planes that have the turbo engines uh, from the perspective, but we obviously with the Delta Hawk engine, we have the Jet A uh, solution, we have the SAF solution, we have the global solution without the need for avgas. So the other announcements that we're making at Sun and Fun and the big announcement is that we have a commercial agreement with Piper Aircraft to put our engine on their multi-engine PA44 Seminole. Beyond that we've also are announcing a firewall forward kit for the Vans RV14 and we also have a firewall forward kit for the Bearhawk. In front of us here is a sample of the engine and what makes this engine very unique is the redundancy about it. It's 100% mechanical. It has mechanical fuel injection, has independent fuel pumps per cylinder. It is both supercharged and turbocharged, which gives it, we call it twin charged, which gives it amazing altitude performance, all with about a 40% increase in, or improvement in fuel efficiency, so that you can get a 40% increase in range in the aircraft that you're used to flying today. So beyond the certified 180, the 200 is a very important market. It gets you into a lot of the high performance airplanes that are at the 200 horsepower. It gets you into a lot of the flight schools that are looking for that. And because of our twin charge nature, we can do altitude, uh, hot restrikes and everything much better than most of the competition. The 235 horsepower variation is an important one because that gets us into the upper end of any of the engines from a perspective until you get all the way through to the IO540 series. So for the 180, the 200, and the 235 horsepower engine, they all use the same four cylinder A or inverted V block that you see in front of you. The difference is just an increase of horsepower with additional fuel flow, but the engine primarily stays close to the same as you look at it. The advantage that we have is we sell the entire firewall forward package and being liquid cooled, the pilot can't screw it up. The pilot doesn't have to worry about the turbo inlet temperatures and all of those other things that are necessary in the air cooled space because of the liquid cooling that the Delta Hawk engine family of engines uh, offers. So some of the uniquenesses of our engine are the port design. This is a two-stroke piston ported, which means there aren't separate valves and tappets and lifters and cams, all that. The actual holes are in the cylinders that open and close as the piston goes up and down, vastly increasing reliability and creating the new performance necessary for today's engines. So where do we go from here? We've talked about the four-cylinder variations of the 180, 200, and 235 horsepower. We've actually also announced that we're going to be coming up with a higher range, a six-cylinder version of this, which gets us into the 300 to 350 horsepower range. And we're in the process of finishing the development of that. But it's going to use the same technology that we already have of the cylinders, just adding two additional ones. So from a power and a weight ratio perspective, the six cylinder variation to get us into the higher horsepower range is going to be a very competitive engine and it's going to fit firewall forward with the standard CGs that we're used to from the engines that are coming out of the IO 540s and IO 560s family. So as you see in this configuration, the engine is cylinder down in the A configuration. The engine can be mounted in the V configuration, such as most likely what we're going to use with the Seminole, uh, the PA44 with Piper. Uh, the engine also can be used as a tractor configuration, or we have the pusher configuration in our Velocity V-Twin uh, from that perspective. It gives our engine a lot of flexibility of mounting, of orientation and direction in order to make sure that the packaging is as efficient as possible to give the best thrust uh, provided possible within the industry. 
So Delta Hawk is in the final stages of getting our production certificate for our facility located at the Racine Batten Airfield in Racine, Wisconsin. Once we get the production certificate, we'll be able to start turning all our reservations for the existing orders that we have into orders so that we can begin shipping. Because we know that the market is needing engines and is having a hard time fulfilling uh, the demand right now and we hope to be a good part of that going forward. So if you're interested in a Delta Hawk engine, one of the best places to start on our website. We have a ability to take a survey and to put in your airframe to prioritize what that is. Remember, we're gonna be selling a firewall forward package that's gonna be pre-tested, pre-assembled, has to be bolted onto the airframe and basically attach a few of the final pieces, but it does not have to be built from scratch in the field. Also too on our website is the ability to reach out to our customer service team and they can answer any questions specific to your airframe, specific to your uh, installation as far as how that firewall forward package is going to integrate.